I really should have done this video earlier, but better late than never, right? Welcome back to another Arcade Collections video. Today I'll be showing you my copy of Gotham Knights, the collector's edition for the PS5. I still remember playing this game like it was yesterday, even though this game came out in 2022. Now, as with all the games, there were a few critiques aimed at it. Some people didn't like the gameplay because there wasn't enough variety, which wasn't a big issue for me. Some people didn't like the graphics because it's inferior to the Batman Arkham games, which I agree, especially uh, Arkham, Arkham Knight. And some people complained about the lack of 60 frames per second option for the PS5, which, to be honest, I don't really care about. All I care is that I get to have another collector's edition game added to my collection and I get to have a great gaming experience. Right, let's take a look closer at the box. This will not come as a surprise to you all, but uh, if you've played the game, then you'll know the primary enemy in this game is the Court of Owls. Hence why the box has a few owls hidden within the design. So here we are. If I, I'm going to bring this up close. You can see that the corners of this has those little owl looking um, golden symbols. Right? They look like, uh, there it is, you can see it better here. They look like the face, uh, well, the eyes of the owl. Right? There it is. Okay? Uh, on one side, as you can see here, you've got owls on the corner. That's, that's, that is an owl. Right? You've still got the, um, the eyes on the corner there. And you get this circular uh, design here, comprised of four owl faces. So if I cover this bit, right, you can see, there it is, there's the owl face. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Okay? Similar to the other side, that's got owl symbolism everywhere, right? On the two corners, on the middle, in the middle, and also that. Okay? And also, um, if you've also noticed, the 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 coloring and the style and the I guess the the graphics on on the box symbolizes a, uh, a, a like a mausoleum like a a grave um, grave gravy graveyard sort of look so um yeah it's it's very nice All right okay uh, oh by the way the top just in case you're wondering that's what the top looks like All right Gotham Knights it's like this edition okay okay now the back the back shows you the game uh, features and also some of the contents, uh, you know, of of the box, right? As you can see here. Now, when you look at this, you'll probably, I don't know, uh, some of you, uh, you know, depending on where you look at it first, but you'll probably notice this: play solo or co-op. Let me uh, take this up closer. Right there, it is. Yeah, it's not couch co-op, which is a little bit of a letdown, but I've since learned that nowadays co-op games are conducted online. But nevertheless. When I first saw that, I, I yeah, my heart raced a little bit. Oh, great, cop, but no, not really. Um, but there it is, right? And there is um, all the contents. So you get the the game, you get an augmented reality collectible pin, uh, the one that looks like a key down here. You get the original LED book packaging and 16-page media book. Uh, the exclusive Knights Diorama inspired by Jim Lee and Certificate of Authenticity. And you also get a Gotham City map. And, of course, the in-game content. The Prometheum New Guard transmogs, visionary pack content, blah blah blah. Alright? Okay. Let's take a look uh, at the inside. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take off, there's actually, I forgot to mention this, but there's actually another card surround that goes uh, this, so I'm going to take that, there it is, right? So, let's take it out. You can see now that the, the, the main box has the, um, the four protagonists uh, on each side. Okay, so starting at the front, you've got here Nightwing, and then on this side, you've got Batgirl. Right, there it is. That, that is actually glossy, by the way. Uh, everything else is just matte. Uh, on the back, you've got Red Hood. There it is. And finally, you have Robin. Okay, if you're also wondering what's, what's printed at the bottom of this box, uh, let's take a look. It's basically just that. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's open it up. Now, to open this up, what you have to do, there is, there's this little flap here that closes the, um, that secures the lid. So we take that off. There's also two more uh, flaps on either side, and that's to keep the box, uh, the, the lid, you know, uh, fairly sturdy. 
So let's open this up, and there we go. Um, let's see the contents. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up like that. Okay. Now, <laughs> I just noticed also something. Before, before we get into the contents, I want to show you this. Okay, I want to show you this. Now, this is a receipt of the game from when I bought it back in 2022, when it first came out. Yeah, of course, I pre-ordered it, um, as, as with all my collector's edition games that I've bought. Now, here it is. Hopefully, you can see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and close this with my uh, fingers so you don't see all the different um, details. But um, this is how much uh, the game cost. Right from Mighty App, you can see there, it is five hundred and forty-nine dollars from Mighty App. So there's the receipt. There's the original receipt. So Mighty App, as you've, um, if you see my other videos, you probably, I've probably mentioned it once or twice, or maybe a couple of times. But Mighty App is my local retailer. It is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, retailer uh, in New Zealand. It sells everything from games, books, um, toys, you know, collectibles. Um, uh, it, they sell furniture, computer parts, everything. Um, and I'm, I'm going to share you the link uh, in the description if you guys are um, wondering if you want to check them out. And yeah, so like I said, it costs $549 from Mighty Ape. Look, I'm in, I'm in no way complaining. You know, that, um, most of the, if, all of the things that I bought from Mighty Ape, I've, I've enjoyed. And uh, I was m happy to pay for it. Um, and yeah, not, yeah, not, not complaining. The amount of games I pre-ordered and brought for Mighty Ape is it's actually quite staggering. I've uh, I've probably lost count of how many how much I've spent with them. But as always, I will always always support local. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll share the um, the website link in the description. Okay. Now, also another thing that I also need to mention is before we delve into the contents, and here's the contents as you can see there. The only thing I have opened and used is the game. So this is the only thing I've touched. Everything else I have not touched or taken now. Well, of course, yeah, I've, I've, you know, this was um, flailing about, so I had to touch this. But everything else I haven't seen. So today, we will look at everything together. This will also be a treat for me, right? So let's start with the game itself. Here it is. Okay, the Deluxe Edition Gotham Knights includes uh, the base game, the custom cycle, bat cycle skin, and the visionary pack content. Okay, there is the back. Now, if you've played this game, you can essentially play this game with four different characters. Uh, me, when I played it, personally, I used Red Hood because of the guns, right? Um, but yeah, you can play as um, Batgirl, Nightwing, or Robin. Okay, so inside, let's open it up. Uh, you got a few things here. So obviously you get the disc, and you get a few, um, you get three DLC codes. So let's take a look at them one by one. Uh, the first DLC code is the 233 Custom Bat Cycle Skin. And yeah, I'm going to cover the DLC, uh, but there it is. There is the, oh, there we are, the 233 Custom Bat Cycle Skin, the Bat Cycle Skin. Looks like a praying mantis. That's pretty cool. And then you have the Visionary Pack Content, which is there. And finally, you have the Promethium New Guard Transmogs, which is there. All right, so those are the three DLC codes that you get inside. Now, below that, I'm going to have to tilt this down. Below that, we have a few things. Okay, the, the first is this uh, collectible um, augmented key symbol here. Okay, so um, let's, uh, let's, let's take that out. Hopefully I can, I can take this out. So there's a plastic, um, a hard plastic piece here that covers it. Okay, there it is. Um, before we do that, we might as well get this out of the way. This is uh, the Collector's Edition User Guide. As you can see, that's where you place all of the weapons, and that's what the, um, uh, the statue figurine looks like. Okay? Right. So, let's see if I can take this out. Um, there we are. Uh, it is held by sticky tape, as you can see here. Uh, so, there it is. This is the Augmented Reality Pin. Okay, now I'm not entirely sure 
there is a, a way to download it. So there's a, you have to download the app and then you put the pin, everything. And I'll see if I can, uh, yeah, hopefully I can I can get a, a, a picture of this. Because I, um, I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't downloaded, like I said, this is the first time I've opened it. So I, I don't know what, it's, uh, what it looks like. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing you can see something off of this uh, using the, um, uh, using the app there, but yeah, there it is. There's the augmented pin. Okay Now let's put this back and the other one is this collector's edition um, oh, Number here. Oh, there we are uh, Certificate of, of authenticity. There it is. It's number one uh, Sorry 18,994 out of 20,000 Okay, and this is a it looks like this looks like it is a um it's a magnet because the back of this um it looks like it's a magnet like i said i haven't opened this so I, i'm not sure but it does look like a magnet yeah but there it is those are the the um the two things that you get underneath the uh the game okay so let's uh put that away and put this back in here is this how you put it in i can't remember now great okay on the other side is the art book. So let's take a look at that. So take this off. Just gotta. Nope, there it is. Okay, there's the art book. Now, apparently, this is an LED art book. Okay, so uh, there it is. There's, the, there's where you put in the battery and everything now. I can't see anywhere that's an LED, but uh, if we. How do you turn this on? I'm not even sure. Is there like a. Oh! Oh, okay, there's the there's the inside paper. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, there we are. Um, here it is. Apparent. Well, if uh, you know, if, if I'm using my brain a little bit, it looks like that's where the button is. So let's see if we can press anything here. Oh, here we go. I can. Don't. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a button here that you can press, but nothing is turning on, and I'm not sure what uh what's supposed to turn on or anything so uh yeah maybe is the battery run out on my one i'm not sure so let me hold on take this off camera and i want to see um if i can turn it on no actually no nothing's uh nothing's lighting up so i'm not sure what's supposed to light up is it the um is it the edges of the tonfa is it uh is it that maybe is it the um and i can't see anything uh if, if i hold up against the the light there i don't know if um yeah, I don't know if this is uh, anything supposed to light up, or is it maybe the um, what else? Oh, okay. Is it, is is it is it maybe the logos on their chest? Uh, so the R, the, the the blue Nightwing, the the Batgirl symbol, and the the red uh, Batman. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it could be anything. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see if I can uh, find out some information later on uh, in in Google. But yeah, like I said, first time. So anyway, let's let's see the the inside of it. Yeah. So here we are. So we've opened up. Uh, you've got a media book there. Um, there we go. You've got uh, all the different costumes, different weapons, gadgets, and everything. Someone can use a sentry weapon. Who's that? I'm guessing that's uh, Red Hood. There it is. Some more artwork. Some more. Oh, look, there's the bad guys. Court of Owls. And there it is. Finally, you can put the uh, the disc in here if you so wish. Um, maybe the battery sits under here. So I gotta figure out a way to take this off and maybe put the battery in here somewhere um, I'm not sure but uh, yeah there it is there's it the back there but um, right there yeah that, that is the um, the LED media uh, book right there okay okay underneath that we finally have I'm hoping is the Gotham City map now let's see if I can take this out uh, because again this is yeah it's got a double sided tape on it almost there we go there it is Right, this one here, I'm gonna have to open because um, I'm not content with just showing you this. I wanna, I wanna make sure that you see the whole thing. So let's open this up and see, right? So um, here we go, one, two, three, first time. 
it's always exciting um, when you're opening this for the first time. There we are. And if we slide this out, there we go. There is the map of Gotham City. All right, let's uh, unravel this. So first things first, there's nothing on the back of the map, right? As you can see here, it's just blank. And the front looks like, oh, is it the other way around? Yeah, sorry, it, it is the other way around. Uh, there it is, there is the map of Gotham City from the top to the bottom. You've got North Gotham, Mercy Island, Gotham Knights. This is actually in-game. Um, Gotham Heights, you've got the Bowery, Otisburg, the West End, Ooh, Wayne Plaza Station, you've got Tri Corner, you have got Financial District, Old Gotham, and South oh, the Cauldron, and Southside. There's no legend, nothing that, but uh, they've, they've got little marks on them. Um, yeah, they've got, uh, there's one mark up there. There's another one here, a little cross here, and I'm guessing these are the, I don't know, subway maybe? There's a cross there for some reason. And another one in Blackgate, and uh, yeah, that's all I can see really. Uh, oh look, there's an owl symbol there. What else can you see? Oh, there's another owl symbol there, so I'm guessing those are points of interest. Uh, all, the, all the different uh, green dots around. Yeah, it's it's great. And you've got these um, little uh, arrows, oh sorry, uh, red arrows with a, with a blue, um, I, I don't know what they are. There's no, yeah, looking at it now, there's no legend to this, so I don't know what's going on. Um, I, I, I can't remember, and truly, I, I cannot remember, um, yeah, the, the, I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah, I said earlier that it's like, you know, it's like yesterday that I played this game, but I, I can't remember the details of the game, uh, the in-game. I can't remember what was there, I can't remember what was up there, I can't remember what was there, you know what I mean, um, yeah. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is where Iceberg Lounge is, I could be wrong, I, 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 like I said, I can't remember, um, Completely, but I think this is where the iceberg lounge uh, sits somewhere somewhere around, along this area here um, Yeah, but right there it is. There's there's a map really really nice. Okay uh, All right, let's get to the statue itself. So I'm gonna take this out and show you the statue And here we are there's a statue right there, and there's all the weapons on the side. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this out. So uh, bear with me. A few minutes later. Okay, I finally got it out, and here it is. There we are, and here are the different weapons. So um, you've got there the oh sorry the tonfa. I gotta actually bring it back. Uh, oh man, it's blurry. Yeah, there is the Tonfa weapon there. All right. Uh, there's Nightwing's. Uh, was that Nightwing's stick? Maybe not. I'm not sure. Actually, no. This is Robin. Sorry, this is Robin's uh, stick. We've got uh, Nightwing's Kali sticks, right there. And we have got Red Hood's guns, which is right there. Okay, and uh, yeah, essentially, um, you put one in here, in Robin's arms. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, let's see if I can put some of these in. They, they basically look like this. Got uh, oh well, this is gonna take. Well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this now. But um, yeah, those are the weapons, and this is what the uh, figurine looks like. So let's take a closer look. Right there it is. There is Robin. There's uh, there's Batgirl there. There's Red Hood, and there's Nightwing. And uh, on the bottom, it's Gotham, Gotham Knights. You've got there uh, the Gotham City light and power uh, manhole cover. 
Uh, it's a yeah, it's a solid base. The base looks like um, in case you're wondering, the base looks like that. There it is. But yeah, they look they they look really good. Um, I mean, if you take a look at their facial expressions, they yeah, look at look at that. Robin's got a blemish on on his nose. Uh, Nightwing looks really good up close. Uh, there we are. Yeah, but um, yeah, it's uh, it looks really good. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that, look, that's all you get in the Gotham Knights Collector's Edition. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching along with me as I fully open all of the items for the first time in this video. And, you know, in some of my other videos. It's always fun to share these things for the first time. Uh, you know, with these opening moments with all of you. Uh, but yeah, as always, you know, like, subscribe and share. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.